All right, guys, we are back for round two on the Super 88. Justin is just now starting to trim, and we are going to hit the stopwatch. You can see it's 255. Let's get her going. So real quick, I do want to point out on this one here, this is the one I was talking about the other day where we were talking about how not only will the mower save time because it's just a big deck and you can mow more at one time, but it's going to save on trimming as well because you got these row of trees here. You got another big row of trees over there. So normally we had kind of have to go around and trim underneath there because we just can't get all the way up in there, in there with our regular mowers. Uh, but with the, with the big wide deck, we can literally get all the way up underneath there. So we're not going to have to trim underneath the trees or anything like that. So, uh, so yeah, and then we didn't mow this one last week, so it is a little bit taller, uh, which I was trying to do because I want to see, you know, uh, just kind of how it does with a little bit taller grass. All right, so without further ado, we need to get going because we are on the clock. The time has already started. This one usually takes me and Justin, uh, both of us about an hour and 30, hour 30, hour 40, somewhere around there. So let's see, let's see if we can get this done in about an hour. So we got the uh, the deck set at three and a half and uh, we got the wings out and we're ready to mow. So um, I wanted to take this opportunity and kind of just talk a little bit about the mower. Um, we've used it on, you know, we've used it for a couple weeks now on a couple different properties that we have that are decent size. Um, this one here, like I said in the video that we didn't, we didn't mow this one the week before but i still didn't get the growth that i really wanted and i think it's just kind of bad timing to demo this unit uh, towards the end of the year um, i really wanted to kind of find something that had some some decent size growth to it and see how it does because to me that's that's kind of uh that's kind of the real test um so maybe we can talk to hustler about uh, getting this demo again in the spring and uh, doing another demo in the spring when the grass is a little bit thicker and uh and all that so but anyway um there is a lot of things i like about this mower there are a couple things that i really don't particularly like uh, but i understand why and even the uh the rep explained to me why so let's just talk real quick about the first one um the first one is that the the wings you know if, if you're like mowing a ditch and the wing uh, kind of goes up on the side it would only go up, I think he said 15 degrees, something like that. And then once it gets up so high, um, the the blade will shut off. And the reason why is because, you know, even even though the wings, you know, the wings extend out, um, it's all belt driven. So once you get, you know, the wings kind of spread up, you know, kind of at an angle, it puts uh, tension on that belt and it, it shuts off so it doesn't pop the belt off if i'm explaining that right um now like the 104 that hustler has it's all hydraulic driven so you're able to bend the wings up if you're on a slant and that's kind of what i'm what i'm trying to talk about here um so you know but the reason why is uh the way the the rep explained it to me was because they wanted this mower to be at a certain price point they didn't want it to get too expensive um, you know, they didn't want it to really compete with the 104. Um, you know, they, they're offering this at a pretty, pretty good price, in my opinion, for a mower like this. I think it was right around 17,000, which sounds really expensive. But if you think about like a 48 inch bagging walker is 15, 16,000. So if you're in an area and you're doing a lot of big lawns, then um you know the, i think this would be a really good machine one thing i was really impressed with was its uh uh maneuverability um it 
it, it drives and maneuvers like a 48 or a 52, not not a not an 88. And um, that's one thing I, I was really impressed with. Uh, the controls are real smooth on it. Um, I was really impressed with the non-scalping. Um, the uh, the wings are floating, so they the wings are are floating, uh, so it basically it, it prevents you from scalping. And um, you know that was my biggest fear about this mower was, you know, you hit a bump and it will scalp, you know, just bigger than anything. So um, especially with the single wheels. One thing I noticed with the 72 right when I had that mower was um, I love the, the, the ability to not scalp with that, with that mower as well, but it only did it if you had the dually wheels on um, because the wheelbase was so wide, it, you know, you wouldn't, every little bump, you wouldn't kind of, you wouldn't dip down. So that's what I was a little bit worried, worried about with this one because it was only the single wheels. So um so that was a fear but uh it, it did really well and i, I was literally you know I, I know this property property like the back of my hand so i was trying to hit bumps and i was trying to get it to scalp and it just wouldn't do it so um to me that that is a big plus and a, and a good job by hustler on, on that on that side of it um you know all in all i think it's a really good mower i think it's a mower that you know if you live in an area of the country that you're mowing, you know, some bigger properties. Um, this could really save you a lot of manpower and it could save you a lot of time. Um, it doesn't really fit with what I want to do with my business because um, other than the two properties that we used it on, I am pretty much all small residential. Um, you know, 5,000 square feet is pretty average for my residential. And uh, it just didn't make a whole lot of sense to carry around an 88 inch mower for that. Um, so, you know, it doesn't really fit my, my business, but there, I know there's a lot of areas, uh, commercial wise, I think it would be a great, great mower. Guys that do commercial mowing, uh, bigger lots, um, you know, anything, I think anything over probably, you know, a half acre, you know, 20, 20,000 square feet. I think this would be a phenomenal mower. It cuts really well from what I can tell. Um, like I said, it's really uh, maneuverable. Um, you can see me kind of going around the uh, the trees and stuff and, and going underneath the trees and all that type of stuff. And um, I think it has a, a plenty of power. Um, you know, I think it's just a really, really good mower. So I think Hustler did a really good job. And uh, thanks again for letting me use it and uh, hopefully we can test out some other mowers. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. We'll talk to you later.